Hey guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel, The Organized Soprano, where I am here to inspire you to live a more organized life. And today, we're gonna reflect on 2018. I don't know about you guys, but 2018 is all right. It was all right. Today, I am serving you real floor video filming goodness today, realness. I just, I, I just feel like being on the floor today. And we have Pusheen uh, serving us coffee today. So it's a good, it's a good day. So today we're gonna talk about 18 things I loved in 2018. <laughs> in no particular order, uh, but I will do them in categories. So we're gonna start with the home stuff. Now I didn't get all of these things in 2018, but I, I appreciated them. These are all of my favorite things from 2018 that I loved and loved to use. The first thing I appreciated much more in 2018 than I did in 2017 was my food processor. <laughs> Cooking a lot more at home this year, I didn't realize that my food processor had some attachments that I could put on that actually Julienne's and like shreds things like uh, vegetables and cheese, and that is my favorite thing in the world. Nothing makes me more annoyed than having to grate something um, for a long time or having to grate a large amount of things like carrots, things like that for recipes. I would sit there with my box grater just real angry, but now that I discovered my food processor can make some of that easier, I appreciate it so much more than I used to, and I use it like 10 times more than I used to. It's awesome, and if you have the opportunity to get a food processor, and use it for cooking, it will make your life so much easier. I just appreciated it, I just thought I'd put it in. Of course, it wouldn't be a favorites video or an appreciation video without mentioning the Roomba and the Brava, both the vacuuming machine from iRobot and the mopping machine from iRobot. I love those guys. They have made my life so much easier. Cleaning robots are the future. Cleaning robots are everything, especially when you have a pet. There is pet hair around that is like taken over the whole apartment, but the Roomba has helped get some of that stuff under control. And also the Brava, we love her as well because the salty footprints, the salty paw prints, that is not fun. So having machines do some chores for me, so grateful, so grateful. I also appreciated more than ever last year, these shoe boxes from the Container Store. I know that these shoe boxes are exclusive from the Container Store, even though Iris makes them. Um, I think Container Store owns the mold to these boxes, but they are awesome. They're not just great for shoes. Let me tell you that first. I have used these bad boys to organize almost everything, like boxes of crayons, boxes of uh, like command hooks, which I will talk about in a few minutes, dog stuff. These boxes, and they're available in a bunch of different shapes too, they're not just shoe boxes, different shapes and sizes. And what's great about them is they all are modular and stack on top of one another. They are, it's genius, and they're affordable. I think you can buy a box of 20 for like, I wanna say it's 20 something dollars. I'll put a link down below and put the exact price because I don't really know anymore, but like they're very affordable. I love these, they're, they're just my favorite. And of course I've got my shoes in here. These are an awesome pair of shoes too, check these out. Ooh, these are my favorite pair of Seychelles. These are hot, right? Love these. Clover, wait, you're here. Would you like to say hi to the people? You're just hanging out. Oh, don't go away now. Say hi. Hi. Look at the people. You have to look at the people, not, not me. Yes, okay. Hi. I know. We can play after I'm done filming the video. I saw you brought a toy here. We can do that after. Yeah, I promise. Not kidding this time. I found these Cynthia Raleigh dish towels at Marshall's last year, and I love them. There's something about the plush inside that makes them so much more absorbent than like your regular dish towel and I am obsessed with them. I know that I don't I don't know where I think you can buy them on Amazon, but like I bought these from Marshall's. If you can find Cynthia Raleigh dish towels anywhere, they're awesome. Snap them up. These patterns with the dog stamps and the dogs, I had to get them. So 
Uh, these had to go in my favorites. These were like my favorite dish towel ever. Now as far as cleaning products are concerned, I do love the Laundress Wool and Cashmere Shampoo that made a huge difference last year. When cleaning up my sweaters, uh, I would actually pop them in the washing machine, clean them up that way. It works really well. You just gotta be careful drying them, stretch them out a little bit so because they, they tend to suck up a little bit. Um, and they smell real weird when you put, like wool smells weird when you put it in the washing machine. But this has been awesome in cleaning my delicate wool sweaters. And the other thing that I was an unexpected, unexpected addition to this list is the common good products. <laughs> I did a review of this line of products probably a few months ago. Uh, I will link it down below if you didn't see it. This, uh, I had a problem with the customer service with this company. My shipment took, I think like two months to come and they were like out of stock and then they didn't tell me they were, it was like, it was kind of crazy and initially put a bad taste in my mouth uh, regarding these products. However, in using them, I've been using them ever since then and I, I gotta say, love them. They smell good, they work great, and they have the simplest list of ingredients. And I, I love this stuff. So um, I'm hoping that they, they'll make it easier to get this stuff. I would like to buy more. <laughs> it's not too expensive. It's a little more expensive than Mrs. Meyers and less expensive than Laundress, so it's middle of the road there. But I really, I highly recommend these. They work well. They smell, the bergamot smells good. It's probably my favorite. The lavender smells good too. Um, I don't know, I think I think they're bomb. I just wish that they would get their customer service straight. I don't, I don't, I mean, hopefully it's better now. Hopefully it's better now, but I highly recommend, highly recommend. You guys know that I am a fan of command hooks. Love them even more this year than last year. I use these everywhere in my home. Whenever I don't wanna make a hole in the wall, because let's be honest, who likes to make a hole in the wall? Even though we own this place, I don't like to make holes in the wall. I get upset. It's traumatizing. We had trouble putting that wall bar up because I was traumatized about making holes in the wall. I don't, I don't like it. I don't subscribe to it. Don't appreciate it. But if I have the opportunity to hang something up without adding a hole, I love it. And command hooks have come to the rescue. I did a whole dedicated video to how I organize with command hooks. Go ahead and I will link it down below. Hope I remember to. If I don't, please tell me in the comments. But uh, I love them and use them everywhere. They're great for, um, controlling cords, they're great for uh, hanging up stuff, they're great for uh, hanging purses on, they're great, they're just great for all kinds of things and they come off without damaging the wall about 99% of the time. I have damaged the wall with command hooks maybe like a couple of times, but it's, it's very rare and it's mostly my fault. But they're great and I love them. 3M, sponsor me. I would love to talk about command hooks all day long because I love them. Hit me up, hit me up 3M. Let's talk about poop. <laughs> no, really, my favorite toilet paper. <laughs> I know you guys, this is so crazy, but like, I went to my parents' house a couple of years ago and visited, and they had Charmin Ultra Soft, and I, I, my life was forever changed. I wrote a text message to my parents, I was like, can you tell me what toilet paper you buy? Because that toilet paper was excellent. You know, especially if you're a lady, you know that your lady parts need some gentle handling. And Charmin Ultra Soft is my favorite toilet paper. Yes, maybe it's overpriced, and maybe you don't get as much as you should. Actually, the Cottonelle, you don't get as much as you should. Like, it, that Cottonelle feels really great, but you get like three squares, right, right? Am I right? Anyway, Charmin Ultra Soft, forever life changed. It's the only kind of toilet paper we buy now. It's, uh, it's gentle and it feels nice and uh, highly recommend, highly recommend. And speaking of P-O-O-P, I love poopery. <laughs> now let's be honest, Everybody poops, right? Everybody goes to the bathroom. It's a, it's a it's a human situation. Actually, it's more than a human situation. It's a whole like mammal, insect, every like life situation. If you have to go number two in public, sometimes you you, you don't want everyone to really like partake in the fragrance. And uh, poopery, that's where poopery comes in. You spray it in the bowl before you go and it creates this layer of like oil, essential oil. And then when you go to the bathroom, the layer of oil is a barrier between the, your production and the smell. So I love this little thing of, poop, of poopery. I can carry it in my purse with me. So if I have, if I have, if I have a, an emergency outside of my home and I need to go, I can relieve everyone of the experience of fragrance. Not the sound, can't do anything about that. That's just something that you're gonna have to, I wish, you know what, why don't more American toilets have like the music that like Japanese toilets have? Wouldn't that be cool? That would be really cool. Come on, somebody somebody start doing that. Anyway, poopery, 
Highly recommend. You can get a Bed Bath & Beyond. I know you can make your own poopery or whatever, but like this is a little travel size that I can pop in my purse if I have a situation. I love it. It's bomb. It, it works perfectly. Tr trust me. <laughs> I have two pet things I want to talk about that I loved in 2018. I loved actually, and I talked sort of not favorably about this in a in a previous video, but the more I use it, the more I like it. It's a paw washer, and if your dog has dirty paws and they come in the house and you don't like that, I don't have a mud room that I can wash them off on. Uh, if it's if it's like if it's dirty enough to warrant a wipe down, but not dirty enough to warrant a bath, I use this. You fill it up with water, a little bit of shampoo, and you put the paw in, and you sort of go like that. <laughs> anyway, it cleans the paws, and I love this thing. It works perfectly. It's awesome. You can get it on Amazon. I will link it down. Everything I will link down below. You can buy it. Enjoy it. Another thing that was a huge hit in 2018 was this water bottle. I got it off Amazon for 20 bucks. I have sold it to so many people. I wish I could get affiliate stuff for like outside of YouTube, but I have sold this to everyone at the dog park. I've seen people with their thing after I told them to buy it. It's the best dog water bottle I've ever used in my entire life. You press a button, water comes out, and then if you don't drink all the water in the little like reservoir here, you can press the button and it flows back in. It's amazing and it's easy to clean. It has a filter, but I haven't put the filter in in a, a while because just, I don't know. Anyway, this water bottle, after I showed it in a video, people went crazy. They're like, oh my gosh, where can I get it? It's awesome. You can get it on Amazon. That's where I got mine because I have broken so many of those water bottles that have like that mechanism that goes like that and the water comes out. Don't don't do that anymore. Do this. There are many design. There are many that are designed similar to this. You can probably get whichever one you want. There's like a smaller one, but like this is the one it's called. I think it's uh, called Pet Kit. Yeah, Pet Kit. It's awesome. Best doggy water bottle ever. All right, some tech things that I have enjoyed in 2018 are my first and foremost is my Apple AirPods. Now, these are stupid expensive. Like they should not be this expensive. I think they're like $165 or 169, I don't know. They're it's dumb how expensive. But you know what? All Apple products are like stupid stupid expensive. However, however, if you are thinking about getting those or if you're on the fence, do it. You won't regret it. They work perfectly. They last for a long time. I wear these uh, working out. I wear these on dog walks. I wear these talking on the phone. They work perfectly and they sync with every Apple device that I own. So um, earpods are amazing. They are easy to lose because look, look how tiny. Um, I have put these in the trash and inadvertently. Um, a couple weeks ago and I was lucky I found them because they're it's like I was like I couldn't almost $200 in the trash, but I love these and I highly recommend if you're on the fence and you have an Apple device and you're thinking about these, they're the bomb, get them. Mine have a sticker on them because my husband decided to get a pair as well, so I had to differentiate his from mine, so I put bunny stickers on it. That's just something I did. I think I talked about this in 2017, but I still loved it in 2018. I actually got another charger from Amazon and it didn't hold up to the performance of this. This is the Tech Snake uh, phone charger. It was, um, full disclosure, it was sent to me by a company, by an Amazon seller. It has performed, outperformed all of my other chargers by 100%. So I love this thing. It's kind of big and bulky, but you can get several several charges out of this. Mine is of course mint because I'm a mint girl right now, but I love this thing. It gives you an idea. It has little lights here so it can tell you how much uh, charge is left inside the charger. But in my experience, it's taken a really long time to like really zap this of charge and I've used it for I think a couple of years now and I love this thing. So highly recommend Tech Snake best phone charger ever, even though it's huge, but whatever, it's powerful. He's got his lamb chop. He's been playing outside for like an hour and a half and he's still like got energy. I don't know where he gets it from. My favorite YouTube channels of 2018 are very few. Um, I watch a lot of different content. I watch a lot of gaming content and I watch a lot of uh, beauty content, but the beauty vlogger I love the most right now is Raw Beauty Christie. She is absolutely amazing because she's real. She is just like a really down to earth kind of gal and I love her style. She is real, she's, she's just fantastic. If you haven't heard of her, she's so underrated, she's amazing. 
I love to watch her. I think she's hilarious. I love her bloopers at the end of the videos. Um, she does swear a lot, so if you don't like that, then probably not the one for you, but I love her. I think she's fantastic. So Robbie De Christie is my favorite beauty vlogger of 2018. And of course my favorite um, gaming channel of 2018 who I always watch. These are people who I always watch when the bell goes off. I watch the video is Claire Siobhan. She is adorable. She's like 29, I think 28 or 29. And she mostly has, she mostly makes Sims 4 content, which I love. I think is so fun. Um, but I just think she's a really positive person and a really, uh, just a really good soul and a very sunshiny kind of person. And watching her videos makes me really happy. And uh, that's something that's very powerful, I think. So um, yeah, those are my favorite YouTubers of 2018. I have to give a shout out to my uh, Soft Glam palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I don't remember when I got this palette, but this palette has been the real MVP of 2018. I have like, I, when I first saw this palette, I was like, ew, I don't, you know, I don't really need that. That's like a neutral palette. What do I need on the neutral palette? Um, if I have the choice, usually I always, re if I don't know what to do, I just reach for this and I create an awesome eye look. I'm wearing it today. It's so pretty and it the shadows are really buttery. It's worth I think the $42 or $44 that they want for it. I love it. I use almost every color in here. Uh, the black is super intense. You gotta be really careful, but I love it. And uh, definitely highly recommend. It's so the prettiest, the prettiest ABH palette. Next, another one of my old time favorites is of course Meal Line. Meal Line is a free food planning, meal planning app that is, uh, I think it's made, I think three people run it out of Vancouver, Canada, and it is amazing. I do use the paid version, which is like six bucks a month or something like that, which is um, Meal Line Pro. Um, I think it's an amazing service. It's basically like a meal planning service, but you have to go out and shop, but that's the only caveat. Um, I love it. Everything I've made from Meal Lime, almost everything, like maybe like 99.9% of the things I've made from there have been delicious. Uh, the other thing I didn't like was like an eggplant puree thing, but only because I don't like eggplant. I mean, it's just, let's just be honest there. Let me know in a comment down below if you would like eggplant. I think eggplant is disgusting. I have always thought eggplant was disgusting, but like it's one of those things where I'm like, everybody else likes it, I should like it too. So I keep trying it and every time I try it, I'm like, ew. Like, I think it tastes like dirt, right? Like, ooh. But I like baba ganoush, though. And I couldn't, I can tolerate like an eggplant parmesan, but only because it's got like all kinds of things going on. But it's like, I had some pureed eggplant and it, I, it's, ugh. Anyway, side note. Meal lime, awesome. Uh, also, meal lime, I would love to work with you too. Hit me up, hit me up, meal lime. Another thing I loved in 2018 was my experience at Vid Summit. Oh my gosh, I had such a good time. Vid Summit, if you're not familiar with it, is a creator conference that happens every year in Los Angeles. I went in October and I had the best time. I know maybe some of you had heard of VidCon. This is more for creators and their business than VidCon is more for like fans and like big creators. So Vid Summit is for people who want to make better YouTube videos, who want to better understand it better and more and make it more their business, which I would love to because I think this is so much fun and I would love to just do this for you guys because I enjoy it. But I had the most fun I've had in a long time at Vid Summit. I had never been to Los Angeles. I met a lot of the great creators who I watch um, for YouTube tips and um, I met Roberto Blake who I mentor with, I mentored with uh, earlier this year or was it last year? It might've been last year, but um, I loved it. I learned so much. If you are a YouTuber or an aspiring YouTuber, I would definitely recommend checking out Vid Summit. If you can't go to Vid Summit because it's either too expensive, too far away, whatever, definitely check out the replays. I think they're like a couple hundred dollars to like download the replays or like to, to watch the replays of all of the conferences. Uh, there, it, it was just an amazing experience. I did a video of my experience at VidSummit. I didn't film enough content for the video to be like really interesting, but uh, I will also link that down below. I had a great time. Um, definitely highly recommend VidSummit if you are a YouTube creator. And lastly, my very favorite thing of 2018 was you guys. I woke up this morning and I had a really nice uh, milestone of 28,000 subscribers. And I really wanna let you guys know I appreciate you. I have made some amazing connections with 
you down in the comments. You guys leave the nicest, most beautiful comments. I've gotten some super sweet emails, DMs, messages on Instagram. Uh, that if you've been inspired, that you like my video, and I really, I appreciate that. I love every single one of you. I just, I love you so much. I've even um, coached some of you online uh, via like virtual uh, online chat. It's, it is a service I offer. I don't advertise it very much, but it is uh, available. Um, and I just, I love you guys. So that was my very favorite thing of 2018 was connecting with you guys. Um, you guys are my organized soprano family and I love you. And that is that. So I'm gonna leave you with that. If you guys had really great things that you experienced or loved in 2018, let me know down in the comment below. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Happy New Year and uh, have fun, <laughs> bye. Some coffee, waiting on some coffee, waiting on some coffee. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh, he's so wet, so wet. He had a, he had a, he had a bottom bath because he had the dirty paws. Come home from the park, but here's Clover for you guys. Hello, say hello. He's real mad that I woke him up right now. <laughs> oh, don't look at me like that. Oh my gosh, I can't stand it. I'm sorry, you can go back to sleep. Jeez, Louise.